welcome to our workout. Today we are doing a one medium dumbbell. I have a 10 kicking around here workout and it is going to be all about upper body with a little bit of cardio in there. So if you already did the other workout this week, it was all about legs. This one is all about arms. So um, a good thing this week, if you want to squeeze in like four or five workouts, this, this has a really nice split with like a lower body day, upper body day, lower body day, upper day, and you can kind of keep rotating um, and keep doing these workouts throughout the week or try some of the other videos that you may have missed. So let's get you warmed up. We're going to do primarily an upper body warm up since that's what we're working today. We're going to start with our ski step. So let's take some steps side to side. Arms go up as we step. They come down as we land. Just waking up the shoulders, getting things moving. We want to break a little sweat, get a little warm before we get into the workout. In three, two, one, give me some arm circles. Big circles back, loosen up your shoulders. Keep circling. I'm going to angle this up a little bit higher because we'll be doing mostly upper body. And let's do some open and hugs. Alternate which arm hugs on top, stretching your chest and your back. A few more. And then give me two pulses overhead, one pulse down and really try to pull those arms back. A few more of these. And then give me some side bends and twists. So nice wide stance, side bend each way. And then a twist each way, rotating the upper body. And just keep going through that combo, side bend, side bend, twist, and twist. 10 more seconds here, then we'll do some inchworm push-ups. Oh, I got a nice little back crack there. In three, two, one. So touch your toes, walk it forward to a plank, push up from your toes to your knees, and then walk back in, stand it up, do it all again. Sure you make it all the way out to your plank position, all the way back in to standing. In three, two, one, stay in your plank, give me a deep lunge, twist and reach towards that front leg, then back to your plank, over to the other side for the same thing. Big step forward, just gonna kind of wake up the hips a little bit, and a nice big twist to get that back loosened. Good for the back, good for the core, Good for the legs, even though we're only really using them in the cardio component. And let's go into downward dog plank T open. So push back to downward dog, enjoy a little stretch, pull through to your plank, T opens right and left. Keep going through that combo. Downward dog, plank, T opens right and left. In three, two, one, let's do some wrist stretches. So hands and knees, lean forward, put the weight onto the hands so you really feel the wrist start to wake up, then come back, fingertips face you as you lean back, getting a nice wrist stretch, and just keep switching. Fingertips are forward, we lean forward. Fingertips are back, we lean back. And they don't need to be back all the way like facing your body. Just twist as much as is comfortable for you. I'm just trying to stretch things out. And let's go into cat to cow. So stay on your hands and knees, fingertips forward. We're gonna arch the back, look at the ceiling, round the back, look at your legs. Nice big arch, nice big round. And let's go into child's pose to cobra. So sit back in child's pose, pull through to cobra. Go back and forth. If you wanted to make it harder, you could stay close to the floor and dive under the fence. And from this one, we'll go into three pulse hamstring stretch. So push all the way back to a little crouch, three pulses, straighten the legs. We'll do one more of those. And then gently roll yourself up. All right. So we are ready to go. We are going to do kind of trios. So I'm going to give you one move. Then we're going to add a move to it. We'll, or we'll rest, we'll add a move to it. We'll rest, we'll add a move to it. So you end up doing like three moves back to back 
but we'll just start off with just the one. And every time we add a move, we add a little bit of time. So we have more time to work on it. First move is going to be a turned out curl. So we're just going to do everything on one side. And then we'll move to the other side. Palm is forward. We're going to try to start and end behind our body where like the dumbbell is kind of touching the side of your hip or your glute. And we're just going to curl up and down, keeping the elbow pretty close to the body. So don't let it like swing way out here. 20 seconds in three, two, one. Let's go for it. So we want a nice stable stance. Nice shoulder width stance, gentle bend in the knees, starting and ending behind our body, feeling the biceps and the triceps, shoulder stays down in three, two, one, and rest. So now we're gonna add a cross body curl. So we're still on the same arm. So we do one turned out curl, but then we do one cross body curl. So coming over to the opposite shoulder and then back down for another turned out curl. In three, two, one. One turned out curl, one cross body curl. One turned out curl, one cross body curl. Keep breathing. So the first move is gonna be 20 seconds. That's the one we already did where you're just doing one move. Then the next move is 40 seconds where we're doing two moves. And then the last move is 60 seconds. So we keep adding 20 seconds to it. We have a little bit more time. And I think we're starting off with kind of one of the harder ones because you're doing one arm. Most of the, the other trios are two hands using one dumbbell. In three, two, one, and rest. So now same two moves, but we're adding a hammer curl to overhead press. So we have turned out curl, cross body curl, hammer curl to overhead press. In five, same arm. Three, two, one. Turned out curl, cross body curl, hammer curl to overhead. Squeeze that tricep at the bottom, right back to your turned out curl, into your cross body curl, into your hammer curl to overhead. Breathe through it, keep that body steady. If you start to struggle, get wider, get lower, brace the core. I told you, this is all about the upper body. It's an upper body killer today. You're gonna to feel those arms like crazy. We're gonna love every second of it. Nice and strong the whole way through. Turned out curl, cross body curl, hammer curled overhead. And we don't want to rush the transition. We want to make sure we get all the way from the bottom to the top of that move before we move on to the next move. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, here's the tricky part. We're staying on that same arm. We ought to do all three moves back to back. So that first time we had some time, we did one move, we rested, we added a second move, we rested, we added a third move. Now we know the moves. So let's go back to back to back with no rest. Ready? Here we go. So turned out curl. Try to stick it out with the weight you have. I know this is tough. I'm challenged too. This feels really hard, but it's going to be over quick. And then we get to switch arms and this arm is fresh. It's ready to go. Let's do add our cross body curl. So one turned out curl, one cross body curl, one turned out curl, one cross body curl. Breathe through it. In 10 seconds, we add our hammer curled overhead. In five, three, two, one, so we have our turned out curl, our cross body curl, right into our hammer curl to overhead. Ooh, tough. If you are absolutely struggling, like that body is just swinging, tough to move the dumbbell, then I want you to lower that weight or drop that weight, shake it out, pick it back up, start again. Almost there. Three moves, turned out curl, cross body curl, hammer curl overhead. We got 15 seconds to go. 10 more seconds. In five, three, two, one, and rest. 
Oh, so now we're doing the exact same thing on the other arm. So starting with just the turned up curl and we get that space, we get those breaks after each move. So this first round is not too crazy. And then things are gonna get a little bit crazier. Here we go in five, just the turned up curl, other arm in three, two, one. So start and end behind your body, palm forward, elbow tight, feeling the bicep and the tricep. We only have 10 seconds. Then we get to rest before we add on in five, three, two, one, and rest. Doesn't that first move just feel like an absolute joke now, now that we know it comes? Turned out curl into our cross body curl is next. Oh, this first arm is still oh, like Martin. Here we go. Three, two, one. One turned out curl, one cross body curl. And we want to make sure we finish both moves so all the way up and down behind the body, then across. So we get that full range of motion. We want to feel every inch of these moves. Strong arms. Breathing. Building that strength. Building that muscle. In 10 seconds, we get to rest again before we add that last move on. In five, three, two, one, and rest. So now we're adding that last move, the hammer curl to overhead. So we have all three moves, turned out curl, then your cross body curl, then your hammer curl to overhead. This is our long one, one whole minute, 60 seconds. So we did it on one side, we can do it on the other. In three, two, one. One turned out curl, one cross body curl, one hammer curl to overhead. Breathe through it. Try to keep that body nice and still. So what might start to happen, keep going if you're feeling good, is if you're starting to feel like this is heavy, the body might start kind of moving to try to help you get that dumbbell. No bueno, okay? So keep the body still. Wide stance, bend the knees, try to make yourself stable. If it's not helping to change the stance and slow the move down a little bit, then I want you to drop the weight. So if you're using a 10, maybe that means drop it to eight or even to five, okay? 15 more seconds. If you're feeling good. It doesn't feel like you're challenged because it should, all of these should be hard, not even just the last like five, 10 seconds. Like the whole way through, this should be a challenge, especially when we get to adding all three moves. So up that weight and rest. So now we're repeating with no rest. We do shave it down a little bit on this. Instead of the 20, 40, 60, you have 15, 30, 45. So it's like a little bit easier, but I mean, it's back to back. So not totally easier. Shake it out. We're just, just the turn no curl in five, three, two, one, just the turned out curl. This is where it's almost like a Charlie horse feeling. <laughs> Your arm is like, Wait, what? Aren't we resting? Aren't we switching sides? In three, two, one. Now we're doing one turned out curl into one cross body curl. Remember the tricks. You're starting to move. Get wide, get low, brace that core. We're almost there. We've got 10 more seconds. And then we add that third move which is the hammer curl to overhead. Three, two, one. One turned out curl, one cross body curl, and your hammer curl to overhead. One turned out curl, one cross body curl, and one hammer curl ugh, to overhead. Only 45 seconds. We did a minute of this. We can do it. We've already been through most of it. We just have to get through another 15 seconds. Ten seconds. In three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're moving on to new moves. This one. Forward raise to overhead. So we're going to hold both sides of the dumbbell, shoulders down and back, core tight so nothing moves. There's no leaning, no arching, no swinging. All the way up to overhead, all the way back down. That's it for 20 seconds. And you still have 15 seconds. So shake out those arms. I know that left arm or whatever arm you just did, it's 
getting burning quite a bit right off the bat. So try to bring it back to life. Here we go, only a 20 second interval in five, three, two, one, all the way up to overhead and all the way back down. Watch that that body is not leading away from that dumbbell, that you're not arching the back and that you're not swinging. 10 seconds down already, 10 to go. Shoulders are down and back away from the ears. We've got some space when we get overhead. In five, three, two, one, and rest. Now we're gonna add an overhead tricep extension. So when we get all the way up overhead, we're gonna bend, straighten, and then come back, back down. So elbows stay mostly forward, core stays tight, still no back arch, feeling the triceps. Here we go. Three, two, one. All the way up to overhead. Into your overhead tricep extension, and then all the way back down. Keeping that body nice and still, letting the arms do the work, finding that spot where you can feel the shoulders on the forward raise to overhead, and you can feel the triceps on the overhead tricep extension. 15 more seconds. In seven, in five, three, two, one, and rest. Now we're gonna add a halo right and left. It's similar to the overhead tricep extension, but once we finish that, we're gonna swoop around one way, swoop around the other way, okay? So it's like a little half circle around the head. Three, two, one. All the way up to overhead, into your overhead tricep extension, and then into, into a halo, each way, feeling the triceps, then all the way back down. And we wanna control that drop, so don't just let it go. That's part of the exercise. All the way up to overhead, bend and straighten, and then into the halos. 30 seconds down already, 30 to go. The good thing about this combo is it takes a long time to get through those tree, that trio, those three moves. So it eats away at that time. The bad thing is, it burns like crazy. 15 seconds, then we get to rest. In 10, in seven, in three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Okay, now you know the drill. We're gonna repeat it with no rest. So just the forward raised overhead for 15 seconds then adding on the overhead tricep extension for 30 seconds. And then finally, adding on the halos right and left for 45 seconds. Here we go. In three, two, one. Just the forward raised overhead, nothing else, but only for 15 seconds. We only have eight seconds to go. Then we're adding on that overhead tricep extension in three, two, one, so on your next one, when you're all the way up there, give me that overhead tricep extension. Make sure that body is staying totally still. No leaning. When, when things get tough, the body wants to lean away from that weight. 10 more seconds. Then we're going into adding on our halo as well. In three, two, one on your next one after that overhead tricep extension you are adding on your halos each way 35 seconds how are those shoulders and triceps doing Almost there. Holy smokes. Another 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, okay, we got another trio coming up here. This one's gonna start with just bicep curls. So we're holding both sides and we're just curling up and down. Nothing crazy, okay? Keep the elbows really tight to the sides. Don't let them flare out or swing way out. We still have 18 seconds before that first 20 second interval hits. So let's just breathe in 10. Here we go. 
bicep curls in five, three, two, one, up and down. Squeeze those biceps, try not to swing it, really try to lift with that muscle. 10 seconds down already, 20, 10 seconds to go. In seven, in five, three, two, one, and rest. Next, we're gonna add a forward press. So once we're at the top of our bicep curl, we're just gonna press it out forward. We're gonna pull it back in, curl it back down. So bicep curl into your forward press. In five, here we go. Three, two, one, bicep curl, forward press, bring it back in and down. Again, this is one of those moves where the dumbbell's really far away from your body. So you have to think about not leaning, not arching. This is a 40 second interval. We are feeling our biceps and our shoulders, a little bit of chest and back as well. And we're already more than halfway through it. 17 seconds to go. In 12, in 10, in seven, in five, three, two, one, and rest. Now we're going to add a high curl, so a high bicep curl. So we do our regular bicep curl, we press it forward. We're gonna do a high curl in, it almost taps the forehead, back out, then come in and down. So it's like a lot of in, out, in, out. So stay with me, we got three, two, one. So bicep curl, press it, keep it there, curl it, boom, then bring it in and down. Bicep curl, press it out, curl it up, then bring it in and down. So we have our bicep curl, our forward press, and our high curl. Three moves. We're here for one minute. Now we got a lot of moves to do. You wanna be careful. Don't hit yourself in the head with that dumbbell. It's a nice controlled high curl, feeling the biceps. And you're already way more than halfway through this interval. You've got 22 seconds to go out of your whole minute. Keep that core strong so that body is still. 12 seconds, 10 seconds, in seven, in five, three, two, one, and rest. Now we're gonna repeat it with no rest, 15, 30, 45. You still have 15 seconds, so just breathe. Relax those arms. We've got regular bicep curls, nothing fancy, just up and down happening in five. Here we go. In three, two, one, just bicep curls. Nothing crazy yet. Just burning those biceps, that's all. In seven seconds, we're gonna add that forward press. In five, three, two, one, bicep curl into your forward press. Back in and down. Twenty more seconds. Then we're going to add our high curl. Find that mind muscle connection. We're thinking about biceps and shoulders mainly. Eight more seconds here. In three, two, one. Now out, adding that high curl. So bicep curl, forward press. High curl, just the low and steady, especially on that high curl. You wanna protect yourself. We're almost there. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Keep it nice and high for that high curl. So try to stay at that shoulder height position. In 10. In five. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're gonna set this dumbbell down for a hot second. We're gonna go into cardio. So this cardio burst, three different moves, a trio as well but these are each only 20 seconds, okay? So we're gonna rest in between them. So we have some time to see what's coming. Right now is the time to kind of shake up the arms, recover. We are gonna do something fancy with these cardio moves. Right now, we're just gonna learn them, okay? 
They're very basic, so you really don't have to learn too much. First move is jumping jacks, arms all the way up and all the way down. Jump it if you're okay with high impact. If you want to go low impact, we're going to step it, alternate which leg steps out to the side. Both versions, modifying or not, I want your arms to tap all the way overhead and tap your side, okay? So go full range of motion. You still have 15 seconds. This is the perfect time to kind of stretch out your body, to relax the arms, to breathe, to take a quick sip of water, nothing too big because we are jumping. Um, or even if you're not jumping, if you're going low impact, we're moving, bouncing around a lot. So you don't want to feel that water. Here we go. Three, two, one, jumping jacks all the way up, all the way down. Jump it if you can. Step it with me if you're going low impact. It's only 20 seconds, so I want you to hustle right out of the gate. 10 seconds. Come on. Feel those shoulders. In five, three, two, one, rest. Next up, we're going to do high knees. So all you're going to do is jog in place, lifting the knees up to your hip crease or your belly button. Nice power up, gentle down. So we want to do a soft landing. We don't want to feel any banging on those joints. Low impact, we march. Ready? Let's do it. Jog it if you can. March it for low impact. If you want to go high impact, but it's a little bit too much, getting those knees all the way up to your hip crease or belly button, jog it. Just keep the knees a little lower. In seven. In five. Three, two, one. Rest. Last one. We're going to do four cross body punches. One, two, three, four. Four uppercuts. One, two, three, four. Four, hello to the shoulders, hello to the biceps. Here we go. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Give me power and speed. Eight seconds. Come on, like you mean it. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're gonna do the trios with the cardio as rest, okay? So we're gonna do those strength moves, the back to back to back trios, but instead of resting, like between doing the right side and the left side, we're gonna do 20 seconds of jumping jacks, 20, right into 20 seconds of high knees, right into 20 seconds of our four cross body punches, four uppercuts, then we're right into the next strength move, okay? So this last section for the last little push of this workout, we don't rest. Okay, we're just alternating between strength and cardio, strength and cardio, strength and cardio. All right, so we're starting with our turn out curl. Actually, just breathe. I'm gonna have to edit this. We still have 20 seconds left at your rest. Hopefully I can edit this fast enough for this last 20 seconds because I see an error in my work, in my timer. Okay, so we're starting with your medium dumbbell with your curls, your turned out curls. Here we go. Now we're talking. 30, just enjoy this extra rest. This is not, uh, not like us. It actually get extra rest. What a treat. All right, now we're ready. Okay, so starting whatever you wanna start with, maybe we'll all just start with the same side, but we're going to do your turned out curl, which means palm forward. Let's go for it. Elbow tight, palm forward, starting and ending behind the body. It's only 15 seconds. In seven seconds, we're going, adding on our cross body curl. In three, two, one. So once we've done one turned out curl, one cross body curl. How's that back feeling? We shouldn't have any tension in the lower back. We want to give all this work to the arms. So hold on to your core. I know I always say that. Hold on to your core. You're like, we're not doing abs. We're always doing abs. Okay. So that's what stabilizes us. 10 more seconds. Then we add the hammer curl to overhead. You're crushing it. In seven, all muscle, no momentum. Three, two, one, add the hammer curl to overhead. Palm faces in on that hammer curl to overhead and we get all the way up to overhead and all the way back down straight so we can kind of pop that tricep at the bottom and bring it behind you for that turned out curl. Ooh, this one is so killer. It's 
first one where you're using one arm. But the good news is we're more than halfway through. We got 20 seconds. Then the weight goes down, keep it close by, not close enough that you're gonna trip over it, but close by because we know there's no rest. In 12 seconds, we've got jumping jacks. In seven, in five, three, two, one, leave that weight. Let's go jumping jacks. Jump it if you can, step it for low impact. How good does that shoulder feel right now? You just worked it. 10 seconds, then we go into high knees. In seven, in five, three, two, one. Let's go high knees. Drive those knees up. Jog it if you can. Step it with me if you're going low impact. If you have a big baby bump, like when I get a little further in my pregnancy, it looks a little bit more like this to make room. So if that's what's comfy for you, if you're also in a prenatal stage, that's what you're gonna do. Three, Two, one, let's hit those punches. One, two, three, four, upper. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, up. Two, three, four, keep going. Up, eight seconds. We're grabbing that weight in five. In three, two, one, other arm, turned out curl. Just the turned out curl. Ooh, keep that elbow close. Keep that palm forward. Body still. In five seconds, we have the cross body curl. Three, two, one, let's add it. Cross body curl, tap that dumbbell right to that opposite shoulder. You're in the home stretch. You are. We already have one trio down. Once we get through this arm. Woo, way more than halfway through this one in 10 seconds. We add the last of this trio, which is your hammer curl to overhead. In five, three, two, one. Add that hammer curl overhead. Squeeze that tricep at the bottom. Let's get everything involved. Only 45 seconds. I know you can do it. Stick with me. We did one side. We can do the other side, okay? 30 seconds. Then the weight goes down. You go back to your jumping jacks. You gotta get sweaty. You gotta loosen up those arms with some jumping jacks. Ooh, we're more than halfway through this interval. 18 seconds. Come on, let's work through it. Keep that arm going. One more little push, we've got 10 seconds. Can we get through that combo again? In seven, in five, three, two, one. Put her down, let's go jumping jacks. Jump it if you can, step it for low impact. You know the drill by now. We've been through it a lot. 10 seconds. Then we're right into our high knees. No rest. In five, three, two, one. High knees. Can you jog it? How's that power up? Are we getting those knees up nice and high, but are we soft and gentle on that landing? Are those joints feeling good? 10 seconds down, 10 to go. Next up, we have our punch sequence. Four cross body punches. Four upper put, uppercuts in five, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's go. Ten seconds. Power, power punches in three, two, one. Grab that weight forward, raise to overhead, hold both sides of it. All the way up to overhead, all the way back down. That's it for now. You're already halfway through it. Short 15 second interval to start. In three, two, one, add that overhead tricep extension at the top, bending and straightening. Straight up, straight down, elbows forward. The 30 second interval, feeling the shoulders and the triceps. We already have one trio down, and that was our hardest trio where we had to do both sides. We only have a little over four minutes left in your workout. Then we're stretching. You got this. Five more seconds, and we add your halo. Three, two, one. Add the halo in each direction. Control it. Feel those triceps. Now we have three moves. Forward raised to overhead. Into your overhead tricep extension into your halo, your little half circles each way. 
Then control that drop back down. Use those shoulders, use that back. We're already halfway through this interval. Keep working. In 18 seconds, you get to put this dumbbell down. We're going back to our cardio sequence. In 12 seconds, we've got jumping jacks. 10 seconds, find that strength. In five, three, two, one, let's go, jumping jacks. Hustle, hustle. The whole way through, we wanna push that pace, push ourselves. Feels good to work, feels good to move our body. That's what we're doing. We're already more than halfway through it. Seven seconds. In five, three, two, one. Let's go high knees, drive them up. Come on, can you get those knees up higher? Can you go a little faster? It's only 20 seconds of work. I know you have it in you. Halfway there, 10 down, 10 to go. Come on, what have you got for seven more seconds? In five seconds, we have our punch sequence. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, uppercut, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, let's go. Go on, push that pace, get strong. Seven seconds, bicep curls in five, three, two, one, grab that weight, hold both sides, bicep curls up and down. Oh, guess what, guess what? It's our last strength sequence. In five seconds, we add our forward press. Three, two, one, bicep curl, forward press. There we go. We're doing it. Only 30 seconds. Feeling the biceps, the shoulders, a little bit of the chest and the back too. We're already halfway through this interval. We just have to add on one more move. In 10 seconds, we add our high curl. The last of the strength, last of the dumbbell. In five, three, two, one. Let's add that high curl, bicep curl, forward press, high curl. Then bring it back in to bring it down. So we curl it up to the chest, press it forward, curl it up, take it forward, bring it back to the chest. The first few reps feel a bit like, what, what, what? What are we doing? <laughs> Once you have it, you've got it. Keep moving through it. Because guess what? We're getting closer and closer to being done and we want to finish strong whatever you have left, use it up, okay? 15 more seconds here, then put that dumbbell down for the last time. In 10 seconds, back to your jumping jacks. In five, three, two, one, let's go jumping jacks. Come on, what can we do with that last minute? We gotta work, wait until that last second. 10 seconds gone already, 10 to go, then we're done with jumping jacks. In seven, we're going into high knees. In five, three, two, one. Let's see your high knees, drive those knees up. Come on, we wanna keep it quick. In 15 seconds, we go into our last move. It's our punch sequence, four cross body punches, four uppercuts. Still have eight more seconds left here. Push through, we got five, three, Two, one, let's go, last move, four punches, then uppercuts, back to punches, back to uppercuts. 10 seconds, you're doing great, let's go. Five seconds, in three, two, one, rest. Oh, catch your breath, shake it out, we gotta stretch. Let's start top work our way down. Let's grab our head, bring it over to one side. Gentle pull, press the shoulder away from you so you can feel that nice stretch along your neck. In three, two, one. Let's take it a little bit forward and then over to the other side. Nice pull, press that shoulder down away from you. Feel that stretch. Take it a little bit forward. And let's just do a couple circles all the way around in this direction. And a couple circles all the way around in the other direction. Oh, that feels good. And a shoulder stretch. Grab that arm across your body. Give it a nice big hug. Shoulder stays down away from the ear. 
pull it in. And give me a nice big open. Switch to the other side, same thing. Big pull, shoulder stays down away from the ear, arm stays nice and straight. Find that stretch in that shoulder. We're gonna hang out there for another breath. Then let's grab that elbow, bring it behind your head. Let's stretch out the tricep. Just let that hand dangle down your back. Nice pull. Feeling that tricep start to loosen up, all those overhead tricep extensions, all those bottom of your hammer curls. And switch, same thing on the other side. Nice big pull. Stretch it out. And then nice wide stance, let's do a side bend. Big reach over, stretching out your obliques and that low back. Sometimes we carry tension in our low back when we're trying to grip for that upper body or when the dumbbell's being pushed away from us, let's switch sides. And let's just do a couple circles. So we're here, we come all the way over to the opposite side. One more in that direction, circle it. And then let's do two in the other direction. Last one. And then your wrist forearm. So grab your fingertips facing down, gently pull them back, stretching out the forearms, the wrists, the biceps, forearms. Get a lot of work just holding onto those weights. Let's switch. Nice big stretch, breathing. And then last stretch, let's grab the hands behind the back. Let's see if we can get a little height. So just stretching out the chest, the shoulders, the back. Stay there for a deep breath. And relax, we are done. Thank you for crushing it. I will see you in the next one.